everything that happened yesterday back means nothing. When you're 19 and you can spend seven full years learning your craft, meeting people that are mentors, being patient, and you wake up and you're 26 years old, you have your entire life in front of you and you've done great foundational work to go on and then be successful. I just don't get it. I don't get why people think at 18, 22, 30 that they have to have their life figured out when they live to 90 and 100. If you could give any quick piece of advice it's while patience. Like lost in life. It's patience. <laughs> okay. it's, you can't be lost in life when you're this young. Should you actually have everything figured out 18 or 20% into your life? Absolutely not. not. More importantly than that, your life evolves and changes as you get older. Too many kids don't take advantage of time. They're in such a rush to find it or be doing it that they don't take advantage of the thing they have. Figuring everything out is a forever game. Have you figured out how awesome you're gonna be as a grandma when you're still not a grandma? Whether it's your parents or yourself or people, everybody's trying to prove something so early. It's the pressures of society, the, the pressures of your siblings, and most of all, the pressures of your parents. So many of you are scared to fail because your dad's gonna make you feel bad about it. And I'm, I have empathy for that, that sucks. I'm very fascinated by negative energy that is not cut outable. You need to put your fucking ear pods in and listen to positivity 24 seven to get you through that shit. Or this ideological thing that the media or culture has put in your head of what you're supposed to be or how you're supposed to roll or what's supposed to be happening at this point is ludicrous. Like, you're not lost in life, you're just early in the process. You just don't meet 90 year olds that talk about how pumped they are that they made an extra $100,000. Like, they don't exist. They talk about regret. I wish I did. Literally, inevitably, I do this. I wish is the opening line. The judgment you put on yourself that is actually being uh, fabricated by outside forces is to me the thing that I'm trying to fundamentally broke de- break down. Just fundamentally trying to break it down. Everybody's judging themselves way too early. You can literally do nothing for the next eight years and be a child. Time is your asset. Yeah, the one thing a 20 year old has over me is 20 fucking years. But you don't think that. Because when you're 22, you don't think 31 is young. Maybe that's a problem with you. Yeah, I mean that's, you know, it's always, everybody's got strengths and weaknesses. What, what a 60 year old has is experience but doesn't have time. What youth has is time. You can literally do four different things over the next two years, six months at a time to figure out everything that you think you might like, you should try to do. But that's not what people tell you to do. Yeah, they tell you to get a job. 100%. What I would do is gather as many experiences as possible. Go and travel and learn. Go and start that business that you've always wanted. Hook up with those three teammates and start that band you've always wanted. This is the time to be massively risk. Massively risk oriented. Pick something and fucking do it. You're a fucking young kid. You can do all 19 things. Like if you're under 32, 33, and you're devastated that you don't have your life figured out, you're just looking at the game completely wrong. Take a breath. Take a fucking breath. And so that's what I'm trying to tell people. It's what you don't do that screws with you later on. The reason you're not winning and doing what you want is somebody's opinion, somebody's opinion of you matters more to you than your opinion of yourself. It's very true.